Okay, today we're going to learn how you prepare your bobbin thread. Okay? It's actually pretty easy. Most of the sewing machine have the direction on top of the machine already. Some have uh, this one, this type of the bother uh, XL 2600. I actually have the direction on top of the machine, so it's very really easy to tell. I'll just show you guys on top here. Okay, it's very really easy to tell. Okay, and but I'm still going to show you guys how you do it. First of all, this one actually is going down like that, but you can pull up, pull the thread inside, and we we'll just pull the thread out here. Okay, and here is the most most important part. You can get the international kind, or actually it's called international kind, I think. You can fit with uh, all the different kind of brand sewing machine in the store very easily. So they will fit whatever brother, singer, those kind of sewing machine. And on top have a hole, you can tell. And we're just going to pull the thread through there. Through, okay, and we're just going to pull on top here. And remember to push by the side so they connect to this part. And since we're going to get this button thread rating, and we need to, it's not actually sewing, so lift up your presser through. And some, some of sewing machine, my own singer machine, actually have a button of this wheel. You got to push in some parts so they won't move around. But this this part they don't actually don't need to. So you just need to push your apart. Okay, like you see it have a little bit in the thread already. You just need to cut Oops. the extra thread out and then do the job. And some some machine if it's too full, it will bubble to the other side. Then you know it's ready. And like right now, if you can tell it's kind of too tight, it won't move so much. Then I will just push push it back and get start cut it off. Okay, what we look like this. It's not supposed to be loose. Right now, it's a perfect tightness, so it looks alright. If it's kind of loose, we go around, then you need to redo it again. And after you do the bobbin bar part, just going to pull in the bobbin here. Actually, this this machine it's half the direction on top already, which is really nice. So it's very really easy, simple to figure out how you pull it. But it's a, have a basic rule it's like that one, like that. Okay. Just push it down and follow the arrow left side and pull it by the side. I'm going to put this one back on. Since this one is clear, so you can tell it's almost out, then you just need to take it out and do the robin thread for you. Some of the machine actually is a metal part, so you can tell. So sometimes you just find, oh, after you sew a little bit, then hold on. You don't have the button thread, then that means you're out. Okay, and now we're gonna do this part. Follow on top direction. Also, what you do is just go down, up, and put it, put it up here. And this machine actually have oval, oval threading design for you. It's really nice. I like it a lot because sewing actually is not very really good for you. If you get older, it's really hard for you to find the needle hole. And this one is designed for people like have hard time to threading. Okay, 
So you just put the thread by the side here, push it down, you know, and pull the thread up here. This part, this one, is supposed to get a knot, get the thread, and they pull it in. Okay, I'll show you guys. Close and loop. Okay, thread in already. And you just need to gently pull it out, which is really easy and simple. And right now we need to get the bottom thread up, right? So you just need to pull this part in the front to you, toward to you, and turn the needle down and go up again. And the thread will come up right up here, get something sharp, and pull it up. Then you all set. You can start sewing now. Let me know if you have any questions. I would like to help you. Bye. Okay, today the practice we're going to have. Oh, then you start get used to your sewing machine and control the speed limit, turning in the corner angle, and angle. Yeah, sorry. And I have a little workbook. You can download in the bottom part. Just print it off on your printer paper. You can use leather size or A4 size paper. It just depends on you. But today I'm cutting the leather size fabric. You can just choose any kind of fabric you want to use. I would recommend cotton or linen fabric. You can start with. Or just some extra piece from some other project you use and use the cheapest fabric you can you can find because it's just a practice. You don't need to get some too fancy with it. And after you print out with the paper, you can just use this pin. Just pin when the four corner or just front uh this four like front back uh for I'm uh, sorry up and down and the two right side. So just make the paper stay on the on the top of the fabric to make it secure when you sew. And if you worry about the you going to hurt your needle or sewing machine, it won't hurt your sewing machine, but it will hurt your needle because um, have paper on top is going to make your needle worn out more faster. But with needle, it's very cheap, so you don't need to worry about it. Usually, you can get it from the store. Pretty easily, they come usually come with two to at least two, sometimes two, sometimes we'll have four to five pieces, and that's around less than ten dollar. This part is just for you practice and get used to your sewing machine, and so you don't need to worry about needle. It won't hurt your machine, so just get ready to practice, and then you can start with some other fun project. Okay, and now I'm going to start with the. Little simple one to then you guys see, then I'll see you guys later. I'll show you guys the result later. Okay, when you saw in the corner of that part, when you try to turn it, you can put your needle down, but needle keep it inside the fabric and turn your presser foot up so this way turn so they will keep in the same spot and when you actually find the spot right and push your presser foot down and can keep start sewing Here it goes. That's how it look like after you done sewing. It's getting kind of wrinkled because of the stitching and get stretched off on the the thread. And this part is help you for a starting point reverse, and you need to stop at the place it's supposed to be, and turning point like the corner part. 
Okay, that's this triangle one, and we'll have the round one and the circle one, I think, to help you get practice. And, oh, by the way, after you're done with this practice, get one. I you uh when I begin to start sewing, my teacher make me practice each one probably five to ten pieces, just get used to with the uh, all the sewing machines and the, and the speed limit and control the part you need to sew. If you get used to it and you think you're confident to sew, then you can stop. And I would definitely recommend you have a one extra one to test out all your sewing machine, all the patterns and the different length and the tightness for your patterns, okay? That will have on the menu, but you still need to try it out some part so you can set up sometime you want to have different kind of design and just try to figure out the sewing machine. Get to know it, okay? I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!